anywhere yet and do not put those notes up yet we are not done because there's another group yes another group of people in the land of Israel who are also pretending to be Israelites they too are identity thieves Little the Hebrews and they call themselves Jews these people are known as the Sephardi Jews and many Israelites who have come to understand that they are the chosen people many of them have been confused by Satan to think that they are Sephardi Jews but why well first because the Sephardi Jews look like us and have been in the land for a very long time. The Sephardim or Eastern Jew makes up about 20% of the Israeli population and have been in the land for over 1900 years. So the Ashkenazi Jews, remember, they make up about 80 to 85%. So the Sephardi Jews is the rest of the Jews in the land of Israel today. And they've been there since the first century CE which we'll talk about a little bit later. But these Jews are different from the Ashkenazi Jews and the parents, little Hebrews. The Ashkenazi Jews are what we would call white people today. They are the Gentiles. They look like, you know, they are the Europeans. You know, this is what they look like. This is uh, the Jews. You know, the t when you think of Jew, the typical Jew, um, you think of, you know, the Gentiles. But the Sephardi Jews, they don't look like the Gentiles, they look like us. They have darker skin and they look more like the darker Arab population. Because remember, the Arabs are descendant from Abraham's son Ishmael. So what I'm showing you on the screen now is a split image. To your right, you see Osama bin Laden, the typical physical appearance of the uh, what the world calls Arabs today. But on your left, this is how an ancient Ishmaelite would look in physical appearance, little Hebrews, as was all of the ancient peoples, the ancient Ishmaelites, the ancient uh, Israelites as we know, the ancient Egyptians, the ancient Philistines, they were, these were people who had dark complected skin. So one of the reasons why a lot of Israelites who've come to the understanding that the, I, uh, that the physical appearance of the ancient Israelites uh, are that of dark skin many of them have been fooled by Hashatan to think that they are the Sephardi Jews because the Sephardi Jews look just like the African Americans today now let us ask ourselves a question here the Ashkenazi Jews are saying that they are the chosen people descendants of Jacob we know this to be a lie we are the chosen people the so-called African Americans Puerto Ricans Jamaicans Haitians etc if we know that that is a lie, then we must also know that the Sephardi Jews, by them saying that they are the chosen people, we should also know that this is, this is a lie. But I want you to put your thinking caps on, little Hebrews. If the Sephardi Jews are not Israelites, why do they look so much like us? And why are they being mistreated like us and seem to be going under the curses? Well, let us take you back to a familiar story, the story of Esau and Jacob. As we know it, Abraham was the father of Isaac, Isaac was the father of Jacob, and Jacob had 12 sons who are the children of Israel because Jacob's name was changed to Israel. But Jacob had a brother, and Jacob's brother's name was Esau. Now remember, according to law, the rights of the inheritance, which just means the person who gets the father's gifts, basically, you know, whatever it is he needs to, the inheritance that he needs to pass down to the son, this is usually given to the firstborn son. And Esau was Isaac's firstborn son. But, as we've learned in our Back to Basics series, remember that Esau sold his birthright, right? Dang it, you know, he, man, he sold his birthright. Not only did he sell his birthright, but he regretted it. He felt really, really bad about it. Like, he wanted to reverse what he had done. So that's just like if somebody gave you something really, really special and you gave it to somebody else, you would feel real bad about it and you would want it back. So that's how Esau felt. But he couldn't get it back. He had already sold his birthright to his brother Jacob. 
So on Isaac's on Isaac's deathbed, their father Isaac's deathbed, instead of giving Esau the blessing, it was given to Jacob, his brother. So when Esau um, was made aware of this, you know, when Esau found out that the blessing that Isaac blessed Jacob and not him, he was very, very upset. Remember the story? You know, he was, oh, he was real mad. And from this point on, Esau burned with hatred for Jacob and wanted to kill him. Now, this hatred, little Hebrews, that Esau had for Jacob, this didn't stop after Esau was dead. But Esau's children, the Edomites, or descendants of Esau, they continued their father's hatred for their brother Jacob and his descendants. So, the two fought in many wars. Because Esau was always angry that he did not get that birthright, he has been, uh, he has hated his brother Jacob. Ever since then, there has been continued strife or hatred between Esau's descendants and Jacob's descendants. Remember, Jacob is Israel. His name was changed. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. As a matter of fact, when the Romans attacked the Israelites in the first century CE, the Edomites, or descendants of Esau, helped to put to death our ancestors, the Israelites, and helping the Romans to kick us out. Remember the Romans said, get out Israelite, boom, you know, threw our bags out, killed us, bam. And so the Edomites was right there with the Romans, kicking us out, boom. Threw our bags out, kick them out, kill them, do away with them. And they have lived side by side, the Edomites have, with the Arab population for many centuries. But let's read that. We're going to go to the book of Obadiah, and we're going to read verses 10 through 15. This is the book of Obadiah, verses 10 through 15. And it states, Because of your violence against your brother Yaakov, or Jacob, let shame cover you, and you shall be cut off forever. This is Yah, little Hebrew, speaking to Esau, the Edomites. Verse 11. And the day that you stood on the other side, and the day that strangers took captive his wealth, when strangers or foreigners entered his gates and cast lots for Yerushalom or Jerusalem, you also were like one of them. So here, little Hebrews, Yah is saying, listen, Esau, shame shall cover you, because how you going to help the enemy kill, destroy, and leave captive your brothers? you supposed to be your brother's keeper. How are you going to betray him like that? This is what Yah is saying. Shame on you, Esau. Yah is saying, shame on you. Verse 12. And you shall not have looked on your brother's day in the day of his estrangement, nor rejoiced over the children of Yehuda in the day of their destruction, nor made your mouth great in the day of distress. This is important, little Hebrews. Pay attention to what Yah said to Esau and apply it to your walk. Never look down on somebody when they're being punished by Father Yah, especially your brothers and sisters. So never say, I told you so, or that's what you get, because Yah can do the same to you. We are all but children, raggedy and disobedient, even in our most righteous state, and therefore cannot exalt ourselves, little Hebrews, over one another another since we have all been foolish. Nor have entered the gate of my people in the day that their calamity, nor look down on their evil in the day of their calamity, nor have seized their wealth in the day of their calamity, nor have stood at the parting of the way to cut off his fugitives, nor handed over his survivors in the day of distress. For the day of Yah is near upon all the nations. As you have done, it shall be done to you. Your reward shall come back on your own head. Now, let's get back to the Sephardi Jews. The Sephardi Jews has been in the land have been in the land of Israel since the Roman captivity of the Israelites since the first century. That's right ever since we got kicked out of our land. An interesting fact to make about Esau, Esau's descendants living side by side with the Arabs today, is that their father Esau did take a wife from the Ishmaelites. So that's another fact that proves the true identity of the Sephardim. Not only that, 
but they look the Sephardi Jews in physical appearance just like the descendants of ancient Israel today. So much so, they could be twins, just like their forefathers. We, the so-called African Americans, are the true descendants of Jacob, the Israelites, and the Sephardi Jews are the true Edomites, or descendants of Jacob's twin brother, Esau, called Edom. Esau was not the white man, little Hebrews, and an Edomite is not a Caucasian, aka European, aka white person, but they are our brother who betrayed us because they sold their birthright for red stew, the Sephardi Jews. The Edomites have been after our heritage and our inheritance since they sold it in the days of our father Jacob. Throughout scripture, we see that they were in constant opposition to everything we did and tried to do. The reason the Sephardi Jews are being treated badly, being discriminated against, uh, endure racism, and seem to be under a curse in Israel is because Yah is very angry with them for their mistreatment of their brothers. Yah tells us, that we are our brother's keeper, but the Edomites have always been their brother's enemy. As it is written in the book of Obadiah, shame has covered them and they have been cut off. The world no longer recognizes them and their reward has come back on their own head. Neither the Ashkenazi, Gentiles, nor the Sephardi, Edomite, Jews, are Israelites. We are not the Jews, and the Jews are not us, but we are the Hebrew Israelites. <laughs>